Our team has got you covered tonight on the reaction to the unrest in Kenosha. Let's start with News 9's Natalie Sapila. She has reaction from lawmakers. With violence and tension escalating in Kenosha, lawmakers are speaking out. This after Governor Evers authorized additional support from the Wisconsin National Guard today. Tuesday night's protests in Kenosha turned violent after two people were fatally shot and one injured. Now legislators reacting to the week's events so far. I think we're all devastated to see the um, film with Jacob being shot. I spoke to Representative Mary Felskowski of Irma today who said she was disappointed by how things were being handled in Kenosha. This will be the second time, almost third time, that the Capitol has been you know, vandalized and looted in the businesses. And the small business community can't take any more of this. And U.S. Senator Tammy Baldwin speaking out in a statement today, saying, quote, the vandalism, armed militia, gun violence, and fatal shootings in Kenosha are not advancing the cause of racial justice in the wake of the police shooting of Jacob Blake. The senator saying she supports Governor Evers providing more National Guard support to law enforcement in the area. State Senator Patrick Teston also chimed in with his support of the governor's move, saying, quote, we cannot allow Wisconsin to become the next Portland or Seattle. I did reach out to several other lawmakers, but did not hear back. In Wausau, Natalie Sapila, News 9 WAOW.